So one thing that I really enjoy about being a Prezi user is the ability to present my Prezi's from multiple devices. And of course that comes because Prezi is cloud-based, but it can also be used offline as well. And that's what we're gonna go into in a bit more detail here. So if I'm ever at networking events or conferences, I don't wanna to have to open my bag, get my laptop out, wait for that to load and show my Prezi presentations. I tend to rely on one of these things uh, to do that for me, which is much, much easier, of course. So the things I wanna talk about right now is the Prezi apps. It is possible to download the Prezi Viewer app to Android or Apple devices. And I'm gonna show you that right here on my iPhone. So right here you can see I've got the Prezi app on my phone and I'm just gonna open that up and you should be able to see it load. There are a few of my presentations and what I'm going to do just quickly is find a presentation that I wanna open, click on it and you can see it's loading there now. And if I turn my phone to the side I can very easily, once all of the imagery and everything's loaded, and of course try this out on your own devices as well. Um, but once that's loaded, I can just double tap on any of those sections to zoom into the content. So it works really, really well. And I use that an awful lot of the time. One of the other things though that I wanna talk about is the Prezi desktop software, because unfortunately, even though it's 2017, we still can't, 100% uh, rely on always having uh, a trustworthy or a, um, a good enough internet connection for us to work online. So having the ability to work offline with Prezi is a must have for people like me who are always out and about on the road and we never know what kind of environment we're gonna be in when it comes to presenting. So let's go back to my machine and I'll show you the Prezi desktop software. So as soon as you log into your account online through the Prezi website, you'll be taken to an area that enables you to view all of your current presentations that are sitting on the cloud. And of course, you'll see the new presentation button in the center of the screen. And that's something we'll come on to in just a second in uh, one of our next videos. But what I wanna point out to you is the ability to be able to use Prezi offline, as I mentioned a second ago. So down here on the bottom left-hand corner, there is actually a button that says Download Prezi Next. And I would encourage all of you to just click that button right now, get the Prezi Next software installed onto your machine, because of course then, like I mentioned, uh, you won't have to rely on an internet connection. And what that means for you as well, if I just minimize my web browser, if we go to my desktop here, look at the very bottom of my screen where all of my programs sit. Yes, of course, I do have PowerPoint installed. There is the older version of Prezi, Prezi Classic, and here is the Prezi Next software. So I'm gonna click on that and just give you a quick overview of this. So you can see it looks exactly the same as when we were just looking at all of the uh, all of my Prezi's on the Prezi website. I can still see all of those designs here on screen and I can edit them, share them, or just present them. There is also a new Prezi button at the very top of the screen as well. And down the left-hand side of the screen are all of the folders that I've set up for uh, the different customers that we work with in building Prezi designs. So you may have noticed those uh, when I was on the online version of Prezi a second ago and logged into my account. So there really is a uh, very little difference between the two, but of course the biggest benefit for you as a presenter is you can have that confidence that you will always be able to get to your presentation you won't have to try and rely on an internet connection and that's absolutely crucial. So what we're going to do next is take a look at creating. So I'm going to talk you through hitting this new button at the very top of the screen here, uh, give you an overview of the software itself and actually get started in building something. 
So before we do that on the next video, again, please just go back to the Prezi website, log into your account and hit that download button so that you have the Prezi Next software installed and we can work together in that software and get through the rest of the beginner's training. I'll see you on the next video.